Yo, what is going on guys? This video is a long time coming. I'm sure you can tell by the title what we're doing today. We're gonna play as UNISG. I turned debug mode on this because I think you need to have debug mode on in order to do this without unlocking it uh, just by playing through the game. But basically all you gotta do is when you're on this screen for a new game, you literally just type in UNISG and then you open the faction menu, you'll have the option right here. You can also do the same for uh, Renegades and I think for Sin, and you have to type in like G-R-E-H for Sin. See, now I have Sin, R-E-N-E-G-A-D-E-S. And there's Renegades. So that's how you unlock these factions, it's really easy. Uh, but do note, you may have to have debug mode on in order for this to work. Anyway, let's do this, dude. Just start with a ghillie. <laughs> uh, I think we're good. This is going to be tough. Um, let's put gameplay difficulty on medium, put progression difficulty on... Oh, son of a bitch. Why did I just do that? Oh my god, it reset everything. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. So Souls-like mode, I think we're going to try it. Because um, I, I can disable it later. So basically in Souls-like, death technically never happens. Upon death, you're rescued by another stalker in the zone. They bring you back to your last spawn location, which is where you last slept. And they leave you a message on kind of what happened, how they found you, what they had to do in order to save you. The items that are on your character have to go and be retrieved. Some things can be lost forever. <laughs> Conditions degraded depending on settings. This is going to be so tough. Um, this might be so hard that it's like unenjoyable for me, but that might make it enjoyable for you guys. I think it's spawning me in Darkscape. That's what this is a photo of. All right, here it goes. Oh. I spawned with a group of UNISG. Camping out here. I'm overweight. Okay, let's equip everything. Oh, that's interesting. Is this pistol broken? Oh, no. Okay, when I run my pistols out, I can't aim my gun. Oh, come on. This is, a, this is an awful bug to have right now. Why is it doing that? Oh, what is happening? I can reload it. Is this, did I seriously pick a broken gun? All right, unfortunately the Fort 17 is literally broken. I have no idea why, but you can't aim this gun. I even, and I spawned in a Fort 12 and it, it also did the same thing. So I had to, I had to kind of hack myself in a, uh, an APS. This is going to be like the only time I, I use the debug mode in order to uh, fix a problem because there shouldn't really be any problems. I think it's something to do with, I don't even know if that gun's supposed to be in the loophole of guns. Uh, but anyway, yeah, something went wrong with that. We're, we're past it now. We got we got a gun. I, f I think it's only fair <laughs> to, uh, to start with a pistol. I'm going to have to have that. So we're good. We're rolling now. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is UNISG. Uh, this is a faction that you never see until the very end of your kind of playthrough of Stalker. Where's that guy going? Um, but it's a really cool faction. It's kind of like uh, kind of like a military group. Uh, they do some uh, some special operations and stuff like that. It's going to be pretty sick. Let's figure out who the boss is. I'm thinking it's this guy. Soldier. So we made it after all. What's next, Commander? We were lucky. I've never played as UNISG, by the way, so this is all very new to me. We were able to break past the Ukrainian's military perimeter undetected. All other UNISG Spec Ops units have also successfully broken into the zone and are settling at the agreed checkpoints as planned. While the rest of the squad is going to rendezvous with them, I'll need you for a special task. Go see a man known as Dushman. He's the main liaison between the Mercs and their outside clients. Any questions? For what reason am I seeing this Dushman? Intel. Mercs have been been here a long time and have drawn up maps and notes that'll be very useful to us. It's vital that we obtain that knowledge as it'll help reduce the risk of long-term expeditions deep into the zone as well as tell us where we stand the best chance of finding what we came for. So we'll just hand him over. Pretty much, yeah. The UN's already sent a king's ransom for the information. Go see him and he'll be more than happy to pass a copy of what he knows about the zone. And once you retrieve the intel from Dutchman, I'll give you a new location along with further orders. Cool. So yeah, we're like a, we're like a black ops group. It's Spec Ops unit, yeah, it's it's actually sick. What's our stance towards locals? They're aware of our officially sanctioned units researching the zone. Although they mustn't know about our secret mission, many of them would try to rob us, attack us, or at least report us back to the ideological differences anyway. And we must ensure our special task remains a secret. If anyone other than the mercenary spots you, they must be eliminated, no witnesses. <laughs> There are eyes and ears everywhere. If even one of them reveals the UNISG is scouring the areas that are officially off limits, 
our entire operation is put at risk. It's probably a good idea to obtain some sort of disguise so you can pretend to be a local when passing through major stalker camps, although risky on its own, it's certainly far more practical. I think we got the idea. No more questions, I'm ready to go. All right. When you see Dutchman, be sure to give him the code phrase for the information. Still remember blue ocean in this dying world. I will mark his location on a PDA and the way to get there. Let's do it, dude, that is sick. What a cool intro. Um, follow boundaries, intelligence. Okay, and then we also got, so this guy wants an SVDS. Uh, me too, bud, so I'm probably not gonna give him one. <laughs> probably gonna just go straight to the military camp if we can, which is a pretty good ways away. We're gonna have to go up to Dark Valley, I'm thinking, and then over to Garbage. Definitely don't wanna go to Rostock. We could go to Wild Territory and then Yontar and then Dead City. Yeah, that's gonna be a friggin' journey, bro. I'm excited for it though. It's gonna be crazy. It is 9.22 a.m. in game, so we got some time. Uh, we do have a bed here that we can sleep at. If I die, I'm gonna, I do have the soul. I'm sorry that it's taking a, a, a fat minute to like really get going here, but there's just a lot to cover, especially with the new mods. And I wanted to keep this in the video because this is the Souls-like mod, which I covered in my last video covering the new update. Um, but we're gonna go through and Fiddle with some of these settings, I think. It's pretty hardcore. If I die, I'm gonna lose all my items. And if that happens early on, I'll basically just be soft locked. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna tone down some of the... When we die, we respawn with 20% less health. We'll have a little bit of rank and rep loss, that's okay. So this is based on rank, so when you die, higher rank you are, the more likely the chance to lose an item or have the condition reduced. This is to make it easier at the beginning of a new game, but as you progress, the consequences of death become more and more severe. We'll leave this at 0.05. So allow weapon loss, allow outfit loss. I'm probably gonna disable outfit loss because that's gonna be freaking rough if I lose an outfit, at least starting out, as well as headgear. Artifacts, okay. Tools, okay. Weapons, I wanna leave this on, especially when I get a bunch of guns, but if I lose this pistol, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm soft locked. So we're gonna turn this off for now. I think later when I get maybe a few guns stacked up, I'll start turning this on. That way when I die, I might lose that gun. I think that'd be a cool dynamic. But starting out, I just do not want to lose this pistol because I won't be able to continue. There's a chance for an ambush to occur where your body was discovered. Maybe a 15% chance for a mutant and a 15% chance for a stalker ambush. That sounds awful, especially starting out. Maybe even drop mutant down to, to 10%. Okay, and then the rest of this, this just makes it to where you only have one save if you enable hardcore. You basically only have one save file. Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, without any further ado, let's get this going, boys. I had to take a little second there. I currently have an infestation of black widow spiders in my house, and it's freaking terrifying. So please pray for me, <laughs> because uh, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with those, if you get bit by one of those, uh, you're going to the hospital. Uh, without treatment, like it could kill you. It's pretty crazy. But, you know, I got YouTube videos to make. They ain't running me out of here, so. <laughs> um, but it's, it's terrifying. So we're getting some spray, get some traps set up. We'll get them taken care of. But yeah, that that's what's going on with me. I hope you guys are doing good. All right, where exactly? Should I follow the road? Uh, this place is huge and it's very barren. Let's just, uh, yeah, we got a long ways to travel. Man, I love this new mod for the UI that shows you your percentage on everything without having to actually, you know, hover over the item. Got my knife. Oh, this thing's sick. <laughs> These animations are pretty good. Maybe get a little thumbnail right there. That looks pretty cool. So yeah, I actually have no idea who all spawns in Darkscape. Uh, <laughs> apparently you and ISG. There might be some bandits. I just gotta be careful, man. There's a flash way down there. I did not get the binoculars. That's right, I got the flashlight instead. I think that was probably a good idea. Uh, I'm gonna break a few of these boxes here. Ooh, just like that. Got some cleaning solvent. That's really good. I don't want to damage this knife too much. All right, I wasn't gonna break them all, but turns out that's just kind of how it went. <laughs> Amazing physics. Okay, so what all did I get? I got the new if you want this mod as you can see all the things i picked up are highlighted yellow this is called new item highlight it's in the mod organizer you can turn it on it's off by default but i just like it because i can see exactly what i got got some vinca that's good bandage cannabis joint and some uh some repairing spray some solvent and i gotta say i don't know how they did it but i i feel like the game looks even better in this update than it did in 9.0 
Or I guess it's 0 0.9. Yeah. Uh, plastic jar, why not? Getting some radiation there. Let's be careful. What? <gasps> what? What? Hold on. <laughs> uh, how do I drive it? Yo, are you serious? I? No. How do I start the car? I'm trying to get a... Dude, I'm chilling. I'm chilling in the freaking car. Am I getting trolled? What is this? I did not know that this was a thing. This is crazy. There's nothing in the keybinds that show anything about starting an engine. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> I have a car. <laughs> um, this is not scripted, and I did not expect this. Let's not run into the anomaly. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh my god. We're driving. Oh. Oh, and that's not good. Oh my god. Bro. This can't be real. There's a car in soccer. <laughs> oh, this dog's gonna come after me. That one is. Oh, is this thing fully auto? Let's put that on semi. Okay, they're getting wrecked by the anomaly. I don't know how much gas it has. I don't- it doesn't have a storage, it doesn't look like. I can't believe this is in the game. I hit O on the keyboard which is the button to pull out my torch. And uh, I, I cannot, I don't understand. This is so cool. I'm gonna keep driving it, although a little bit scared because I might like die, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, this is unreal. It has lights on it and everything. Can I turn the lights off? Cause I hit L. The lights are toggleable. Oh my God, dude. This is too cool. Uh. It's really hard to get the camera angle right. Oh my god, there's so many anomalies. Spread that needle. Oh my god. I'm on fire. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Or maybe just the car. There's electric right there. Okay, hold on. Oh no, no, no. Why is it smoking? Please don't blow up. <laughs> okay. That may have just been from the burner. I just made some serious movement though we have a pretty good ways to go still let me just clear the area up here i don't know if i can i don't know what's going to happen when i get to the the like transport area where i go to the next map but be interested to see okay there's an anomaly right there so i'll try and go around the side let's just uh let's keep it cruising man go ahead and reload this let's start it up okay It's a little bit hard to control. It kind of has a mind of its own. Careful, careful. Anomalies everywhere. They're kind of hard to see. Yeah, let's keep it moving here. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, go this way? Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, I think something lifted us up off the ground there. I've, I've always known that like there's a way to get cars in this game. I just did not think Gamma did it. But they did. <laughs> okay, hold on. Alright, we are... We made it all the way to the end. Dude, that's the fastest way to get through this map by a long shot. That's so cool. Okay, this is for testing purposes. I'm gonna see what happens whenever I drive this car through the teleport zone. I, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna find out. Oh, okay. It, it, it shot me out of the car. All right, well, there you have it. That was a car in Stalker. Oh, Jesus. Oh. My God. Oh, damn. Had a lot of stuff on that one. Um, I definitely don't have a lot of ammo. Let me 
Well, we got 66 rounds. That's that's not too bad, I guess. Stupid cat. The thing is freaky. This is one of the new texture models. Hold on, somebody's over here. That's a loner. No witnesses. Nobody can know I'm here. I doubt he was alone. I just wasted a lot of ammo trying to kill him too. That's not good. Oh. I hear two more sets of footsteps. Oh boy. Oh god. Jeez. Are we good? <laughs> oh no, we're not good. Quit juking me out. Okay, he's dead. I think there was another one. It's kind of hard to see. They put the new, uh, the fall, uh, texture, which is cool. It's appropriate, but, uh, yeah, it's a little bit hard to see. Oh, yep, there's another one. Okay, now how much ammo do I have? Not much. I have, like, two full mags. Oh. Dude. Okay, he's dead. That was a lot of noise. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, he's got some 9x19, some broken-ass guns. Uh, I'm gonna grab this shotgun, even though it's broken. I might, you know, might be able to fix it eventually. It's got a broken bolt carrier. Fuck. <laughs> what was that? They definitely got the uh, the Tarkov like voice acting in, in this. It's pretty sick. It's really cool looking. Like, really cool looking. Okay. Meds and other loot. Let's see what we can find. 9 by 18. Oh yeah, there's an auto loot. If you hit left alt, it'll grab everything valuable. All uh, crafty materials and things like that. Some uh, vodka. So we throw out. I'm basically going to be grabbing as much stuff as I can, but I also do not want to get uh, overweight. Here's the first guy I killed. Oh, he's got a Mosin Nagant. With a green part. Um, let's take the trigger off of that. Let's take the Mosin. Take all of that. Mosin's gonna be really nice. Let's go ahead and just load this up. Nice. Yeah, buddy. That's a really good find. That's amazing. Yeah, let's make sure this thing's loaded and then um we will uh well we'll have a sniper. This thing's gonna jam a ton, but the good news is uh it should hopefully be a one shot kill. How am I doing on weight? I'm at 37 already. All right. Probably can't grab any more guns for a while. We'll try and cut through the north part of garbage. Yeah, you and ISG, the only friendly I have is the mercs. Might as well be playing as a monolith. Since we're here and things have kind of calmed down, let me try out another mod that I showcased in the last video. We want to go to this, right? So let's right click it. Uh, add pin. Go here. Uh, okay. Oh, how do I set the 3D waypoint? I'm not sure. Yeah, actually, I don't know. I, I was able to do it before. If you saw the last video, I was able to right click it and set a uh, waypoint on HUD and it would show up kind of in the 3D space. And the reason I didn't like it is because it had that red thumb pin, which looked weird. But you can actually change that to... They have a bunch of different icons, and I did not realize that. Oh, I hear a lot of things. Hold on. Maybe I should take the road. Oh, there's a zombie. Or no, that's a fracture. Oh, two fractures. Oh! Damn. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
mercenary. We need backup. We're into a dog in Dark Valley, east of the exit to garbage. Okay, so there's actually a mercenary nearby. I hear another flash. I think we're good. Nothing useful. Uh, so there might be a mercenary up here. That might be who's shooting. Also bandits. Uh, that's just a zombie, right? Not a fracture. Oh, you're not dead. I am not falling for that. There we go. Oh my god, there's so many. Uh... Knifed. Okay, probably should have been doing that. Save the ammo. Okay, zombie parts. Nothing useful, nothing useful. Ooh, little magazine. Some money. Okay. Nothing over here. Frames are pretty good, I will say. <clears throat> I've had the frame counter up. Obviously, it's the frames vary a lot, but it's staying well above 60, which I'm pretty happy with. And if you want to know how to turn it on and off, you just hit the home key on your keyboard. Um, you can go to the settings tab and the reshade. Scroll down to the very bottom and there's a checkpoint for the show FPS. And you can turn it off just like that and then hit home again to close it. Now we can go into garbage. Oh boy. It's a bandit. There's more than one. Uh, maybe they'll die to the dogs. Oh shit, this is actually so bad. F off. No. Don't jam. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Here's another one. It jammed again, okay. Hold on. <laughs> uh, okay, there's duty nearby. They saw that. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to- I thought I turned off the voice actor for my character. It's a little bit loud. If I could at least turn the volume of it down, that'd be okay. It talks louder than I do. <laughs> Let's quickly loot up and try to get out of here. It's 45 ammo. Nice, got a cooking kit. That's useful. Oh, I want this mask as well. So far we're doing pretty good. I just, uh, I'm about to run out of ammo. And then we're going to be not doing too good. <laughs> Damn, we're going to have to pass by the the path to Ross. Maybe I should go around the south side of this uh, flea market here. It's probably a good idea. Really lucky to find this uh, Mosin. It does one shot. Bandits at least. Yeah, this is crazy, dude. Basically, everybody is an enemy, except for the mercs. There's a bunch of zombies over there. Yeah, there should be duty over there. I don't want to run into them, because... Oh my god, please tell me that was just a zombie, not a fracture. Nope, that's a controller. Oh my god, no way, dude, I'm running. I can't. I cannot deal with that. <laughs> no thanks. I'm good. I'm good. Basically just trying to get to Dead City as as efficiently as possible without burning through all of my ammunition and meds. So far we've done pretty well. I've spent more ammo than I wanted to, but the med situation's good. We've only been shot a couple of times. I haven't taken too much damage. Alright, let's go see wild territory. Uh, we don't actually have to go through the actual, like, city, town of Wild Territory. We just need to go, or the train station, I guess it'd be. Uh, we just need to cut down this road and go straight into Yontar. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this. This place is going to be full of ecologists and loners, which are enemies to me now. Which, by the way, how the heck am I supposed to get a Psy helmet? I just realized. 
have no idea. Maybe I'll have to get a disguise. I don't know. We'll deal with that later. We'll try and get through here without getting spotted. It's going to be really tough. But we'll, we'll just stay along the, the southern end. And we should be able to just go right into Dead City. And once we're in Dead City, we're going to be pretty safe. Other than the, uh, the chimeras and the other mutants that spawn there. We're cutting through a lot of zones today. Looks so nice. I really am really digging the uh, the autumn textures. I think last season of Gamma, I guess you could call it, it, it was kind of a a dead, dull toned. Uh, all the trees were dead. Very post apocalyptic vibe. Oh, this guy right there. They haven't noticed me yet, but I don't believe that's gonna last long. That guy is getting dangerously close to seeing me. I feel like. Another guy right there. Oh man. Once I get spotted, I'm just gonna have to sprint. But uh, until then, I think I'm, I might be all right. I don't know. They have made changes to the stealth. So this might work. I mean, realistically, you could kind of sneak by. These guys all have gas masks on. Their, their visibility is not that great. Plus they're not, you know, they're not really paying attention to what's out here. Yep. All right, spoke too soon. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's go. Oh shit. Oh, no, 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 no. I hope they don't hit me. Ah. Come on. Oh, jeez. They're going to be chasing my ass down, too. Dog. Please. Leave me alone. <gasps> Duh! No! Oh, Jesus! Oh, jeez. Oh, I might die here. I'm definitely dying here. <clears throat> well, this is bad. Yeah, Souls Like Mod kicking in. I did not hit load save or anything. This is all the mod. And... Oh, okay, time. Oh, okay. I don't have a weapon, bro. Uh, and somebody's shooting me. Okay. Okay, I just stabbed that guy to death. There's no light. I don't have a... Please have a match. He has money. Bruh. Alright, well, uh... I'm back at the beginning. That is the Souls-like mod. So because I haven't hit a bed since the very start, uh, this is where it put me. When you wake up, you find yourself in a familiar place with no idea how you got here. Looking for your things, you find someone left you with something to eat or drink. So that is how it works. Uh, you get a message. This message is dynamic and can change many ways. Oh man, I need a doctor. Yeah, we get it, bro. Um, so yeah, I'm basically effed. <laughs> I'm screwed. There's really not much I can do right now. I'd have to run back with nothing. So... Yeah, that's how the Souls Like mod works. It's very dark, by the way, sorry. Yeah, that's how it works, it's pretty cool. I do think I'm gonna leave it enabled, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna have to reload save back to Yontar. You guys can tell me what you think, of course, of the Souls Like mod. I do wanna kinda try it for longer. I don't wanna give up on it, but you know, for that situation in particular, that's just too much, man. I I've been recording for like an hour and a half. If I were to have to do all that again, like I would never get any videos made, so. I think for, for the purpose of making videos for you guys to enjoy, uh, I'm going to have to sort of cheese it a little bit until we get maybe a little bit more progressed further into the game. But that was a good example of how it works. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do this. I could try going this way. Cut a, cut across the dam. It's worth a try. Oh, that guy's probably going to shoot me if he sees me. Let's try and sneak around. You don't hear me. You don't see me. I'm invisible. I am a ghost. I'm a special ops unit. And I am a ghost. Yes. Wow, he actually didn't see me. That's crazy. Okay, hold on. Let me just sit here and get my stamina back. The reason my screen's turning yellow is because I don't have a Psy helmet. And going into this factory part of Yontar just melts your brain, basically. And so the closer I get to it, the more messed up I start feeling. Oh, shit. That's a snork. Ah, oh, come on. 
I got him. All right, we're gonna loot him. He doesn't have anything. Jammed again. Yeah, this shotgun is so busted. Oh. No. Oh. oh, man. I need a doctor. Um, okay. I'm alive? <laughs> no way. I'm healed. Wait, no, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, let's take... Okay, hold on. Let's take one of these. Heal my leg. Holy shit, boys. How am I alive? Let's eat some food. <laughs> oh, we're all right, we're all right. Oh my god. Okay, I got six shots for that. I got two bullets in this. That's useless. Holy. Give me that meat. Alright. That sounded a little sus. Okay, let's move. I don't know how I survived that. That was crazy. Thank god I found the shotgun. That would have been so hard without it. Okay, we need to go up this hill and go that way. I'd say that went pretty well. There's a dead something over there. Oh my gosh, dude, that was crazy. That was a pucker moment, dude. I was clinching. I I mean, think about it. I literally, aside from six shotgun shells, two bullets of 9x18, and three Mosin rounds, I used almost everything I had as far as firepower. Barely enough. Well, I mean, we're not there yet, but we're freaking close now. Just need to go straight ahead. Oh, that was crazy. I was noticing so many things on the HUD, too, that are new. Down in the bottom uh, left, next to, like, the uh, the status effects finally now have... It looked like they had counters. So you can kind of see how long something's going to last, which is really nice. I specifically, I remember asking for that. So that's sweet. Okay, this is it. We're going into Dead City. This is the way. Move to Dead City. Absolutely. We made it, boys. Can't celebrate too much just yet. Nice, I just leveled up my carry weight and melee damage. Gamma does offer a skills thing, passive things that level up, uh, which just kind of give you little passive bonuses and buffs the further your character kind of develops. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to celebrate too early because uh, we still got to get to the other side of the city, basically. Well, not really. The middle of the city is where my objective is. And that right there is our first mercenary. Oh. Watch out for that thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's go. Alright, yeah, we didn't even run into any mutants. That was perfect. Yo! A stalker that's not shooting me. That's amazing. Dead City is a pretty cool place, honestly. I've never had a base here. I've never uh, done a whole lot here. Even when I played as a mercenary, I don't think I based up here. But considering how unfriendly every place is going to be playing as you and ISG, I might do a base here, but we'll see. There's a lot of cool areas in this town. All these buildings. Um, there's a little bit of underground stuff. But yeah, we'll get into all that. I hope that wasn't your vodka. Oh, geez, I literally thought he was about to shoot me, but no, there's two fractures. Um, I should probably help him out. I should really help him out. I should definitely help this guy out. Um, yeah, you know... I really should help him out. <laughs> but I think... I don't think I can, man. Oh, they're coming after me. Yo! <laughs> help! Oh, jeez. Uh, hold on, where can I... Can I get up on this? Oh... oh. It's so fast. Okay, he's dead. Alright, well, and there's the perks of being near friendlies. Did that guy die? I can't really let his things go to waste. This is the zone, after all. Is there a body back here? Oh, here he is. Ah, oh, poor guy. Oh, he had such a cool hat, too. Oh! MP153 Carbiner. Uh, 12... 
I said, but this is a pretty good shotgun. Same damage as mine. Has much higher muzzle velocity. I like that. A Fort 17. Uh, interesting. So there is Fort 17s that spawn, but for some reason mine was broken. I'm going to test that. Yeah, let me just see. What's up with these pistols? Yeah, no, it's broken. Um, if any of the stalker devs or anybody sees this... Um, yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the Fort 17 and the Fort 12. I tested both, and they both were just broken. Not really sure what the issue is. It seems like they, they still would work. Hold on, yeah, let me just... Yeah, like, I can shoot it if I loaded it up with ammo. I would be able to shoot it. But there's just no model for the iron sights in the ADS. Oh man, Smooth look at this. like butter. Smooth like butter. Alright. This is a sweet shotgun. Still a broken shotgun, but... I think this one's nicer than the one I have, because it's not a pump action. Gotta turn a light on this place is... Oh, what is that? Low battery symbol. It's the one bad thing about being up front. Oh, that's not for my flash... It is. Oh no. My flashlight has low battery. Wait, why? It says it's 100%. Alright, well I'm gonna have to buy some batteries. I actually haven't picked any up. They're usually pretty common. Okay, here's the man. Here's uh, Dushman. Let's talk to him. Major Hernandez has sent me to retrieve some intel from you. What's the passphrase? Still remember Blue Ocean in this dying world. Let's hope it never has to be just a memory. Here's all the information that you and requested. All right, he gave me nine grand. Okay, thank you. Uh, before you go, I know the pay for government work can be pretty shitty. If you ever want to make some real cash you're able to, and you're able to be discreet, feel free to pop down here. We mercenaries always have plenty of work that needs doing. Very lucrative, cooperate, paid. Corporate paid work. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Wouldn't want you to feel like you're trapped in your current job. Not everyone's comfortable about dying for some politician's bullshit. Why work for them when you could work for yourself? This operation is bigger than all of us, Dutchman. We cross paths again. Hopefully it'll be for the right reasons. Okay, let's take a look at what he has. In Gamma, if you don't know, uh, one of the biggest changes from Anomaly that Gamma does is it removes the ability to buy guns and armor. Just straight up, you can't buy them and you can't really sell them either. Um, certain guns, for some reason, it does allow, allow you to sell, but they have to be in like pretty much perfect condition. So you can't make a fortune just by picking up nice guns and selling them. And you can't buy guns. You have to repair them. You have to use the crafting system. It kind of forces you to use everything you have in your, uh, you know, all of your resources. I think it's great. It was a huge appeal to me, but maybe not for everybody. And of course, you know, with Gamma, everything in this mod pack can be customized and changed. I think even the fact, even the ability to buy and sell guns and armor probably can be changed if you wanted. So I think for now, I'm going to buy 20 shotgun shells, 45 pistol rounds, and a battery. It's all about what I have to have, not what I want. So let's buy this. This is almost five grand. New mission, Hollow Boundaries Rendezvous. Oh yeah, so now the next mission is to rendezvous with the UNISG guy. They have settled in a place the locals call Jupiter. I must bring the intelligence to the specified location. Wow, just like that. Okay, so the next... The next place I need to go is Jupiter. That's crazy. That's really far north. I mean, that's past Red Forest. All right. Well, that's interesting. I didn't expect that. But I'm cool with it. This dude is... Can you stop walking around, dude? That's so loud. Let's look around a little bit. And uh, let's unpack this battery. There we go. Oh, what the heck? I have four batteries now? Did I, did I always have that many? Let's throw a battery in here. Okay, it still shows the red battery symbol. So weird. Does that just mean it's... Is it like letting me know that it's draining my battery? I don't know. That's that's interesting. I feel like that should only show up if your battery's getting low. Go to the second floor. Up here we have the equivalent to like a bartender. This guy's pretty cool. If I go to what he got to sell, I think he might buy this stuff. Yeah, okay. So he buys the stuff for a little bit more. I'll sell it to him. Still not the most optimal. This guy... Uh, is really good to sell faction patches too. I think if you get 25, or here we go, 15 patches of any faction, you get a chance to get artifact containers, medical supplies, tools, or artifacts. Uh, 30 patches of any faction, you get a chance for to get rewards of the same kind, but upgraded. And you also be able to win some high-end weapons and armor, so that's huge. I definitely need to get patches. I actually killed this guy in my last playthrough, so I was unable to do this. But yeah, so this is Dead City. We made it. Next, we're probably gonna have to do some little odd jobs and side objectives, whatever we can kind of get our hands on. Maybe uh, upgrade some of our guns, maybe uh, repair this shotgun, that'd be good. We can get better equipped so that we can continue moving further out from this area, which is now my, this would be my new safe house. 
This has been episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to hit the like button if you're down for a UNISG playthrough. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Tell me what you think about the Souls-like mod, the other changes that they've made to Gamma. If you have any tips, I'm always open to hear them. And if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.